What's up y'all and welcome to today's video. Now before we hop out on the water and do some fall bass fishing, I've got to say huge thank you and shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Texas Standard. I'm wearing one of their shirts right now. Texas Standard is a clothing company based out of Texas and everything they make is Texas inspired. Everything they do has a connection of what it means to be a Texan. Most of their gear has a subtle Western flair, like the pearl snaps on my shirt here. They do it in a way that looks really nice, but it's not too in your face. The quality of their clothing is really great too. You can tell everything you made is just made of really great materials. Like right here on this shirt, you can tell there's a very subtle zipper pocket on the front, which makes it great for fishing. The cool thing is that the UPF protection, and there's also venting on the back that's subtle as well. They make this an amazing fishing shirt for you to go and hit the water, but it also looks nice enough for you to wear around town or to the office. Texas Standard has also been kind enough to give me a discount code for y'all to use. That code is the Southwest-10, and that will get you 10% off any purchase at their online store. I will also have a link in the description that'll take you to their website, so you can check out all of their awesome gear. But now, it's time for us to get out on the water and see if we can catch some fall bass. All right, y'all, well, I'm at the spot. Um, this is super cool. It could be a little noisy. I'm under an underpass, but I've got this awesome creek behind me, and I am gonna try and do something a little different today. I'm fishing for a species I actually don't think I've ever caught before. I'm specifically gonna try and catch some spotted bass out of this creek today and I do have the fly rod with me. So we're gonna have to throw these on so we can see um, if anything is chasing my fly or underneath it, you know, but um, I'm gonna be throwing the grasshopper fly today. So I've got my rod and reel all rigged up, but uh, here's what we're gonna start with. A little grasshopper, bigger than the cricket I was throwing last time, but I had so much fun. I'm like, I gotta do this again, but I really wanna catch some bass. So we are bass fishing today specifically. If we don't get anything on the grasshopper, I'll probably switch to the cricket pretty soon. All right, let's see. Where might some fishies be? Maybe over there. There's lots of rocks for fish to hide in and behind and stuff. So I think there's tons of places to maybe catch a spot or a giant panfish of some sort. Oh, something is coming up behind this grasshopper. Yeah, I feel like there's a couple bass on it. Oh, it's bluegill. Okay, let's get back in that spot. It's so cool when you can like see the fish coming at it too. All right, that's good. I'm gonna come over these rocks right here. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I had a bass, I think. Something smoked it. Guy took me straight into a rock. Maybe if I come over this rock or something there. No, okay. Let's see if we can make a further cast. There we go. Might be something over here. Just kind of, just kind of twitching it here and there. Don't want it to be too lively, but I want them to know it's it's moving. Okay, I'll fish this pool a little bit. Only problem is that I'm like up on a, a ledge and I've got some gnarly brush behind me. But let's see if there's any spots down here. Maybe some big panfish. Okay, they were not hitting the grasshopper, so it's cricket time, y'all. See if I can catch some. Out here pretty little fish there that is a uh, no it could be a long ear maybe red ear I'm not sure but he he wanted the cricket I was right grasshopper was a little bit too big for him it's hard to tell the size of these fish when I'm just up here looking at them way down there but we got an eat and that makes me happy all right let's find a spotted bass Got 
another little pretty ferocious sunfish right here on the cricket. I believe that one is a green sunfish hybrid. Whew. Fish here a little bit more. Just in case there's a spot, but this seems to be just kind of a sunfish hole. And I know there's some spots with uh, big fish. So I've seen where people have caught flathead catfish down here, like big and so if I follow, if I just follow the river, the creek a little bit, I might be able to find some really deep pools and that's probably where I'm gonna catch some spots. The sunnies, they are, they're keeping me preoccupied. I will say that. You can kind of just pick out a rock down here and throw past it. I'm ripping the, the lure past the rock and then they come out of the rock and feast. Man, this is beautiful. I mean, it's not like some pristine trout river in Arkansas or anything. This is right here in Texas, in Fort Worth. But I mean, I've got some crazy cool things down here too, y'all. Okay, now this is some good looking stuff. It's not that great for casting, but we'll figure something out. Luckily, you don't have to cast it that far, I guess. Oh, yeah, I'm getting trees. And I can't see. <laughs> I'm also kind of assuming that the spots will come up and eat like a surface fly. I do have a wet fly that I can get out at some point. Very clear water, not a whole lot of hiding holes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're coming after it too. Okay, okay, I found some fish. It didn't look like a spot. I think it was just a sunfish of some type, but pretty cool oh no I'm in the tree but y'all not I'm right over their layer okay okay it's moving yep 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 just got smacked and another little sunny well I mean this is so fun really could do this all day beautiful species but we want spots today y'all we are bass fishing. We are bass fishing. And maybe I can find a really juicy spot and like get out the, uh, the grasshopper again. Okay, Let's see if anything's hiding in this current. Wait, literally already got eight. Huh. Something jumped on it quick in the current. All right, well, that's gonna do it. I did not catch any bass today. Struggling, but I mean, hey, I'm really new to fly fishing. Um, ran out of battery really quick too. Maybe it's something with the cold, but I don't think I had them charged up all the way either, so. It is what it is. I did catch some pretty little sunfish, which I'm excited about. And I really am just having a lot of fun doing this. I'm really excited. I'm gonna have to find some more creeks. Maybe if y'all have some places to recommend for me, I'll go try those. But uh, water was beautiful. The creek was beautiful. I just love being in a different environment, doing something new. Um, I'm kind of a fishing geek, and I just like to do all the fishing experiences, um, catch different types of fish with different techniques. It's really fun for me. Um, remember, if you want to know the location of this spot and all the other spots that I fish in my videos, be sure to check out my memberships, my memberships option, the Pond Hopper's Guide to DFW. Um, if you become a member of that, you will get access to the location of every video I film. If you want to support me, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way it'll help the channel grow and we'll keep this thing rolling. With that being said, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace!